Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci. I am with Gust & Cho Associates in Loan Cabin. I'm here to talk to you about having two FHA loans or you buying a new house with an FHA mortgage once you have an FHA mortgage. So there's only four scenarios that allow you to do this. Um, the first one, the most common one, is when you get relocated by your company and you're forced to move 100 miles away. So if you're forced to move 100 miles away from your current house and you want to buy another FHA loan, you can. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is if you, let's say you're divorced, and let's say you've got two kids, and let's say you're gonna get remarried to another person who has two kids. If you get married, you have to be married, you can't be engaged, but once you get married, you can prove that your dependents went from two to four or two to five, you got more dependents now than you had before. That's the key, more dependents. Then you've increased in family size, then you can buy a bigger house, even a mile away from your house. FHA. Um, now, in that situation, you must have 25% equity in the house that you're leaving. Otherwise, you can't do it. So you have to prove that your family size is growing and you need a bigger house and you have to have 25% equity in the house that you're leaving. So that's the second one. The, the third one is almost the same as the fourth one. This kind of gets into the weeds of things and I made a mistake with a borrower and I figured it out before we wrote a contract, but I almost sent the guy out, out uh, buying a house. So to be eligible for another one, let's say you co-signed um, uh, for your son on an FHA loan. And now you wanna go buy a house, FHA for yourself, owner occupied. That is a yes. You cannot be the primary borrower on a house and then go co-sign for your son on an FHA house. So you can do, you can be a non-occupied co-borrower on an FHA loan and go buy your own house, but you can't be an occupied borrower on a house and then go be a non-occupied co-borrower for, for your children. Um, if, if you're, <laughs> if, if you're, also, he can do this if you are the borrower vacating a house that has a co-borrower in the house that's staying in the house and you're going to buy a new house, FHA. So that's kind of confusing. So you have a borrower and a co-borrower that both live in this house. You want to move out and that co-borrower is going to stay in the other house so he's the primary borrower and you're buying a new one. So. Those are the four ways that you can do that. That last one's tricky. That's why I looked down at my notes because it's really hard to follow. So I'm gonna go over in quick all four of these again. First, if you get relocated more than 100 miles away, you can buy another FHA house if you currently have one. If you are increasing your family size and you have 25% equity in the house that you're leaving, you, you have to prove that your family size is increasing, you can get another FHA mortgage. Um, if you're currently a non-occupied co-borrower, so you co-sign for your child on a house that's FHA, and you are gonna go buy your own house FHA, you can do that. And if there are two borrowers that both occupy the property, both FHA loan, and one of the borrowers wants to move out and get their own house, you can have a, 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 a second FHA loan. Those are the only four situations where you can do it. There's no others. Got the piece of paper right here, right from the guidelines. So if you are in an FHA loan and you want to buy another one, you have to fit that parameter. And these underwriters have a hard stop on this. There's no like, oh, come on, please. There's no exceptions. These are the rules. And if you like this video or don't like this video, say below and please share this. And if you have any questions, leave the questions below. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much.